Hi, my name is Annalisa Fitzsimons. I'm one of our directors of Christian education here at St. Luke's. Um, and I'm just really excited to share a little word with you today. So I'm going to start by sharing a little known fact with you. I am a huge chicken. So most people who know me know this, but those of you watching may not know, I am afraid of so many things. Um, my family all say that I'm a huge chicken because I am. Um, I'm going to start with some of the smaller fears and then go into a couple of the bigger fears that I have uh, just to share them with you. The first is birds. I had a bad experience with birds. They have creepy feathers. They peck you with their beaks. I just cannot. Do not like birds. The next are cockroaches. I know that they can't hurt you or bite you, but they're just so creepy and crawly. I can't stand them. Um, I <laughs> am... 28 years old and I am afraid of the dark. Um, obviously if my husband's there, we keep the lights off, but if I'm by myself, I always sleep with a nightlight. Um, I really am afraid of not being liked. Um, when, when people either are in a, there's a problem with our relationship or they don't like me, it just makes me so uncomfortable and I hate that. I think probably a lot of you experience that as well. Um, I don't like to not be liked. Um, I, one of my children, my three-year-old is super accident prone. She falls down all the time. Um, so I feel like I live in constant fear of her skinning her knee, breaking one of her teeth, you know, just being clumsy. So I live in constant fear. And then at the top of my list of things that I am fearful of would be losing someone that I love. And that happened to my family recently, about a month ago, my father-in-law passed away. Um, and while I know without a shadow of a doubt that he is with our Father in Heaven, that hasn't stopped um, the sadness and just missing him and, and wishing that he was still here. Um, so I really felt like one of my fears became a reality and I just didn't feel like I was very prepared uh, to handle that. Um, as much as I know he is without pain and in the presence of our Savior, it still had me feeling upset and fearful. Um, and about a year ago, we all signed up. Everyone who's done these recharge videos, we sign up for them like almost a year in advance. So I picked the verse that I chose for today ages ago. And I think at reading it today and preparing for this um, video, I just can so feel um, and know God's control and his mercy in this situation. So I'm going to read to you um, John 14, 27, the verse that I chose a year ago. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Um, God doesn't give us as the world gives. Um, he gives us peace. And I feel like the only way that I can find peace in this situation and, um, and feel a little less heartbroken and a little less upset uh, is to know that Jesus gives that daily dose of peace, that we can know that we are in the palm of his hand. Um, God does not give us as the world gives. The pains that we're experiencing here are not from God. Uh, and he has my father-in-law uh, wrapped in his arms, and uh, that is something that actually does give me a little bit of peace and helps me to fear less. Um, so when I'm listing these long list of fears, obviously you only heard a few of the things I am fearful of. You can only imagine what my husband hears on a daily basis of me worrying about things that I shouldn't be worrying about and uh, something that he has a tendency to say uh, when I'm worrying or expressing my worries to him is he'll say, Annalisa, are you in control of this situation? Are you the one that's in control here? Um, and almost always I'm not. So if I could just listen to Daniel's words and listen to the words here um, in John 14, 27. I know that, um, that I can fear less, knowing that God is in control, that we are in the palm of his hand, um, and that even when hard things happen, um, he knows us and he loves us beyond all measure. Uh, so I'm going to read to you again John 14, 27, and then we can pray. John 14, 27, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Um, he doesn't want our hearts to be troubled and he does not want us to be afraid. Uh, he just absolutely adores us. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much that you are the giver of peace, um, that you 
know us and that you love us and that you give us a daily dose of peace. I pray that you would be with myself and my family um, during this hard time um, and that you would be with everyone in our congregation who is experience, uh, experiencing a hard time so that they um, can know you and know that they are in the palm of your hand and that you absolutely cherish them. We love you. Amen. Thanks. Bye.